the peaceful walk in Sarasota against racism in support of Cornell and his family was amazing. It has been reported to me by an inside source that both Stephen Correga and Romulo Norbrega are gone and I'm sure the neighbors are relieved. I was told that Stephen and his wife Regina gathered up their children and they hauled tail up north somewhere. Romulo Norbrega is gone as well. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My good name is Gracie. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this channel. So you all remember of that video we did of exposing certain neighbors who are harassing and racial profiling a black teenager? Yeah, I'm sure you all remember. Well, things have shifted very fast after a show of a solidarity with a walk against a racism and discrimination against black people in Sarasota, Florida, some of the neighbors have moved, like they've shifted and they've done it quietly. So let's watch this video that, uh, you know, the updates of this video and then we'll come back to it. Let's see who moved after they felt that whatever they did and all the backlash that it has come with it after them being exposed on social media, some of them even losing their jobs. Now these ones, they've decided to move from this neighborhood. Let's watch this video and we'll come back to it. If you've been following the story of the neighborhood creepers, this is the most important video. We are going to help the victims. We're going to make sure that they can get justice and that they have our support. Here's our GoFundMe right here. I'll put it in the link tree in my bio. You could just access that on my page there and go ahead and give what you can. Make sure they know they're loved, they're supported, and give them the tools they need to be able to get justice and accountability for what had happened. Can we? Just won't. Can we? Just won't. Can we? Just won't. The peaceful walk in Sarasota against racism in support of Cornell and his family was amazing the turnout was really good and people from all backgrounds just really showed up and rallied behind this family the entire walk was very peaceful we had a great time i got to meet a lot of great people there was no violence and no drama at all and these people showed up and showed out behind cornell and his family some people from the neighborhood out in Sky Ranch even pulled up and joined the walk. People from that neighborhood also honked as they drove by and waved at us to let us know that we had their support. There's a lot happening and going on behind the scenes, but on TikTok, we're not going to stop and we're not going to let up until these guys are held accountable for the things that they've done to Cornell and his family. No justice, no peace. And walking while black is not a crime. Thank you to all of my virtual family and supporters that showed up. Love you. Bye. All right, y'all. The walk is done. We just finished up and I'm about to get me a sub because I'm hungry. And the walk was really peaceful aside from the police presence that was a little intimidating and my son says unnecessary we were peaceful no one was disrespected no trash was left behind nobody went on anybody's property and we showed up to show support for cornell and his mom there's a lot that's going on and a lot that has happened. But as far as me covering the story, um, I'm going to wait as I hear from the family um, or other verified sources. Because the last thing I wanna do is add fuel to the fire um, and bring unnecessary drama to anyone's life. But I do remain steadfast in my commitment to be accurate and be transparent because I know that a lot of you all are following this story and you want to keep up with it. And so I'm going to do my best to help keep y'all in the loop. The march is not the end. It's only the beginning. And we are going to continue to apply pressure to those individuals who 
have been identified and named. Steven has already been um, terminated from his job and uh, TikTok is doing what it does uh, to get justice. Hey y'all, hey, I'm coming here with a quick update about the incident that has happened out in Sarasota. It has been reported to me by inside source that both Steven Correga and Romulo Norbrega are gone and I'm sure the neighbors are relieved. I was told that Steven and his wife Regina gathered up their children and they hauled tail up north somewhere. Romulo Norbrega is gone as well. I'm not exactly sure where he is, but he's not at Sky Ranch. To me, that is so crazy because what what are you running from? Like, what are you hiding for? You all were the pursuers. Romulo, a.k.a. Rom's wife, was the one who was allegedly approached by Cornell. A lot of people felt like, well, no, we got to give Rom a pass. He was a good guy. We can see him holding back Stephen Cabrega from attacking Cornell. However, according to my source, that it was his persistence in badgering Cornell, which really escalated this whole thing. And if you want to know, well, who's your source? Guess what? I'm not going to tell you. But what I will say is that I do trust my source and they are disgusted with what has taken place. And at the right time and in the right time, I'm pretty sure they will come forward. But just know that until then, they're willing to do whatever they can to help get justice for Cornell. Well, guys, they say play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And that's what's happened to uh, Steven and the rest of the Crips in this Sarasota neighborhood and you know the funny part the funny thing is that after I did the second video updating on how Steven got fired from his work the people who still came in the comments section trying to defend them and some of you were like you know what this guy was causing tension in the neighborhood like can you not walk in your neighborhood just because you're black and it's full of pond colored people what does that have to do with causing tension and this guy, one of the guys that moved in uh, secretly, like quietly, is one of the, who the wife who said, who allegedly had said that uh, this guy, Cornell, the kid, had talked to her or harassed her, as we heard the guy saying in the video. And you know, this is something that's happened sometimes back where a young guy lost his life because what uh, another. Another guy's wife came on ahead and said that the guy harassed the wife. This was the same case that was going to happen. And I was asking myself, what would have happened if this guy was not recording what was going on? And if you watch the previous video, if you've not watched or don't understand what I'm talking about, you should go and watch the previous episodes that I've done. I've done two episodes on this. And... You know, some people are saying uh, it's only a matter of time because the, uh, Steven, the one who got fired, is the one that moved. And some of the people are saying uh, they'll just maybe move them to another part of their company. Maybe that is what has happened because he's moved him and his wife has moved and their kids. Maybe they've been moved to another company or something of the sort or the same company in a different location or maybe a different state. Because let me tell you guys, when they had that walk, it created now the tension that they said the kid was creating just by walking around the neighborhood. But when this walk happened, the walk in solidarity, the walk against racism, I think that what was needed for them to see that this was a serious matter. This was a serious case. You just don't go around harassing people who are minding their own business. And I've come to see that falling on this social media and all that's happening. Some of the European Americans, they don't know how to mind their own 
business and i don't know why i don't know why some of you get agitated so much agitated just seeing a black person existing and going on with your life uh it's as if they are taking some of your air or i don't know as if they're taking some of your space whereby you live in a big state you live in a big country you live in a big neighborhood where there's enough space for each one of you but just because you're pumped colored person you feel there is need for you to go and harass or attack a black person i mean it doesn't work like that if you cannot uh coexist as a black and white if you are a white person and you don't feel comfortable around the place that you are because they are black people the easiest way is for you to move if you don't feel safe in a certain neighborhood just because some black uh, people moved into your neighborhood then you can as well go on and move because there's no way in this world you you there's no in this world things to be just working just because you're white we can, you cannot live with black people in your neighborhood no we're living in 2024 like this is a new era that white privilege has got to end if you cannot be able to live with black people how can you even be able like to deal with people when you need help because once things happen to you the first people that always come for your rescue before you call the police before you call 911 or if anyone is harassing you in your neighborhood that is not from there and your neighbor is black they're the first person who come to your rescue but most of you you don't see that when you go on harassing black people just because you feel like they're in your space and they're not supposed to be where you are i don't know it's because some of them feel so special and they're like, no, we are here and they are here. There's no way we can be in the same space as them, which is quite sad, guys. So this is what happened. They've moved and there's still more updates because still people are waiting to see what, how the case will go on. People are still fundraising for this family. Some of them are saying they're fundraising so that they move from that neighborhood to go to a different neighborhood because it, like now that they've moved we don't even know what their plans are we don't know what they're planning again it's this kid you know because it has costed them a lot so now it has costed them leaving their neighborhood leaving their beautiful homes that they loved so much that they were like i've seen you walking across my house four times uh, so entitled right it has cost them their homes it has cost them now if they've moved that means they have to change or take their kids to different schools if they've moved to a different state that is or if they moved far from where their kids are going to school it has costed them jobs you know it has cost them like respect because there is no way that anyone is gonna respect you after seeing you four men fooling a teenager in a neighborhood like four of you man like it was very funny i would say it was funny and sad at the same time because i don't understand how even a man you listen to your wife with a, and then you go on ahead to start harassing someone without even thinking twice just because you want to show your wife you're masculine enough or you want to show your wife that you protect them enough I understand it's okay for you to protect your wife it's okay for you to protect your girlfriend but under what grounds because if the wife came on and said that she was harassed why did she or she and the husband decide to move from the neighborhood why did they decide to go from all the tension if at all whatever they were saying it's true so men out there before your girlfriend tells you or your wife tells you uh these and these have done this to me first even find out why have they done this to you i i, I don't want to mean like sometimes it's not all the women lie but in all in this case and the case of emmett which <laughs> he, he lost his life because someone lied so you have to know what happened for you to get here before you go to take action to your like before taking action you know there is a video that i saw where black women were being asked who do you feel safe around between a pumped colored man and a pumped colored woman and they went on ahead and said 
I would feel a bit safer with a pound colored man. Reason being because the, the tears of a pound colored woman are very dangerous. For those who know what I mean, you know what I mean. This is why these a neighborhood, these neighbors, after being pressured so much by this guy's wife and the guy, they had the audacity to follow this teenager and harass the teenager. After all, someone like Steve, who had no business in following this guy, and he came on and said, I've seen you walking across my door four times now, across my house four times now. He lost his job, you know. Now they've gone on ahead and living their beautiful home and their beautiful neighborhood. So some of you pant colored people or pant colored men, when your wives come on and tell you this and this happened, because I've seen crazy currents online and social media doing crazy things and pump colored women that do this like what's wrong with you because i don't understand how you can just stand there and say that this kid harassed me when they've not done it and you're there comfortably and you got these crocodile tears crying oh i mean it's crazy so pump colored men before you go on ahead attacking someone or harassing someone just because your wife told you they did this to me you first need to make sure that it, they really did. You need to make sure that they really harassed that kid. They really harassed your wife. You need to make sure that whatever your wife is saying is not just out of stress and emotions and hate towards black people. Because that is what happened in this case. That is what happened with this wife, with this lady. She was just not comfortable seeing a young, handsome black man walking around and all she could do was lie to the husband that this young man came here and harassed me. Let me know what you all think, guys. Yeah, I got the update from that lady on TikTok. You all can go check her out. She has a lot of updates on everything that's happening. And especially on this case, she's really following up to this case. As you see, she was on the walk with other Black Americans and also other European Americans that joined the walk because whatever these guys did was not okay at all. And this is something that should not be happening in 2024, considering that Sarasota, Florida was once a sundown town. That's why all people came out for this walk to make sure that everyone has a right to be in Sarasota neighborhood, uh, in Sarasota town, and no one should be harassing you just because you're existing, not hurting anyone, not committing any crime. Let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section. And thank you so much for watching up to this part. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, kindly consider subscribing. And until the next episode, bye.